Well, Valentine's Day is coming up, and new research shows Cupid is alive and well in spite of the pandemic. But uh, that could also come with a downside in Philadelphia, where sexually transmitted diseases are going unchecked. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with details on the new twist during this dating renaissance. Steph? Hey, Yuki, you know, it has been a tough year for many single people, but a new report says dating isn't dead, and neither are some of the potential hazards that come with it. The problem is, testing for STDs is down dramatically in Philadelphia. Love in the age of COVID, hope springs eternal. COVID is being killed by Cupid. Cupid is winning. The dating site Match.com says the pandemic has ushered in a new dating renaissance. Singles are spending a lot more time talking to people uh, before they go out. The Match survey says singles are now making more time to look for love. They're refining what they're looking for in a partner and rethinking how and where they find love. I'm calling it intentional dating. The unintentional consequences of the new dating renaissance could be a spike in sexually transmitted diseases. A lot less people are getting tested. Eric Policonis is with the Mazzoni Center that provides STD testing for everyone, but specializes in LGBTQ health services. In Philadelphia, with some of the highest STD rates in the country, there's been a dramatic drop in people getting tested for STDs because of the pandemic. It's just uh, incredible to think that we were identifying so many cases beforehand and now we're, we're not really testing that many people. Early stages of STDs like syphilis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia often don't come with symptoms. People could unknowingly be spreading the diseases if they have unprotected sex. The scary part is that there can be a lot of people out there that are infected and therefore they are potentially passing it on to other partners and also not being treated themselves. Now the Mazzoni Center, like many other health facilities, is offering a variety of safe options for STD testing. Jessica? All right, good to know. Stephanie, thank you.